Hello friends, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens, or Julie is the author. Pretty sure that's the channel name now. We're gonna film a video. I have acquired a lot of crystals. I love crystals. I have quite a collection and I decided that whilst putting my shelves together, there's a whole bunch of pieces that are up on my shelves, I was gonna do a video. I asked a while back before I moved if anybody would be interested in seeing which crystals I have and the answer was yes. So I'm gonna go through all of the crystals that I own. I think I'm gonna do them by shape. So like all of my spheres, all of my towers, go through them in that format and I'll have those time stamped down below. I am going to do them as close-ups and then a voiceover. This is the first time I'm doing like a full voiceover video. Bear with me if it's not perfect. I think that's going to be the best way for you to be able to see them because if I just hold them you're not going to get a clear enough view. We're going to jump into the video. I'm kind of excited to see everything that I have too because a lot of it is back here behind me and I don't look at it very often or in my bedroom, which I'm not in very often anymore. If you're interested in crystals, if you're just interested in pretty shiny, beautiful rocks and cool stuff that the earth makes, stay tuned. Let's jump right into it. All right, we're gonna start off with towers. This is probably my largest one. This is a clear quartz with tourmaline. So you can see the inclusions in there. Clear quartz is very good for uh, cleansing and grounding and the black tourmaline is very good for protection. So in general, this is a really positive, really good stone to have around. This is rhyolite or flower jasper. I really like the patterning on it. I don't know. This is mukite comes in a whole bunch of different colors, but I like when they're deep and rich like this. Only from Australia. This one is Uberlite. It is super UV reactive. I've got a couple things that are UV reactive. I don't think I show you all of them, but this one's particularly cool. This is black tourmaline. So a polished piece of something that I have a lot of raw. Very good for protection in that other big quartz tower. This one is hyper Theen, Hyper Sheen. It's a very poor quality one. I got it nearly free. This one is Howlite. Very, very calming. Love this one. Faked a lot though, so careful, but I do love it. This is Blue Tiger's Eye or a variegated tiger's eye. Hawkeye is the blue kind. This one is Blue Lace. It is one of my absolute favorites. It is gorgeous. The banding is stunning. It's very expensive. However, comma, it's amazing and I love it you'll see a pattern. I'm very drawn to blues, but the blue lace agate, chef's kiss. This is Caribbean calcite. I love this one. Um, again, because blues, ooh, pistachio calcite. Love a good calcite. The banding, again. This one is just an agate question mark. I wouldn't say moss. That's a little selenite tower. Cleansing. I got that in a freebie box. This is a little smoky quartz point. A little bit of like an iron inclusion in there. I love that one. I love smoky quartz. So pretty. Oh, garden quartz. This has all different kinds of mineral inclusions in it and it is one of my favorite things in the world. You'll see a lot. I like inclusions. I like when you can see all the different things that grow or layer when the crystal's growing. Oof. Another piece. It's a tiny little guy but those are called like phantom lines and that's just little minerals. This one is lapidolite, but it's a gem lapidolite. So it's um, gemmier, I don't know. This one's shara white. Shara white is, I don't know what it's made out of. It's beautiful, it's very expensive, but that is shara white. Love it. That is a giant moss agate tower. I say giant, it's not giant, but it's large for moss agate. And again, has those little pockets of crystals. It's gorgeous. The quartz on it, the, oh, the agate. It is, I love them. I love them so much. Butamus. This one is an amethyst quartz crystal. Um, it's amethyst agate. So it goes from amethyst on the bottom, there's clear quartz in the middle, and then that agate banding. I don't know how the earth does what it does, but she's amazing because that's gorgeous. And I flip and love it. It's also incredibly pointy. I could kill a vampire with that. I adore it. I 
need to move that where I can stare at it. This one is fire quartz. This one is essentially just quartz with hematite in it and it's kind of heated and it changes to that red color. Gorgeous. Love a fire quartz. This is another smoky quartz with another little bit of like an iron inclusion in there and it's beautiful. That's fluorite. Uh, rainbow fluorite. All the patterning and the lines on it. Love it. This is azurite and malachite. Nope, chrysocolla. Chrysocolla and malachite. Polished. This one is money agate. Never heard of it before. This is a newer purchase for me and I think it's pretty flipping cool. I love the color variations. This is blue onyx. I've been wanting a blue onyx piece and this actually came in one of my mystery boxes. I love it. Oof. Okay, hot mess. Here we go. That is Vivianite or corpse crystal. It grows on dead bodies. Sometimes people, sometimes animals. Um, that is a giant piece of Vivianite for me because uh, Vivianite's very expensive, but I love it. It goes for from like that dark green color to like almost like a blue color. It's morbid and gorgeous. Love it. This is Aragonite. Um, it grows in like these hexagonal little shapes and I think it's cool. That's just a clear quartz point. I like though that you can see the striations on it, which is how it grew in the, in the ground. I just think it's pretty because the earth makes cool things. See the striations on there? Love it. Ooh, great bag it. Look at the way it grows. It is adorable. Nice and purple. Incredibly expensive. I don't even want to tell you how much I paid for that. It's not my most expensive crystal, but the great bag it is beautiful. I think it's the coolest. I do like the way that it grows. That is pink mangano, mangano calcite. Um, it UV reacts. This is blue appetite. I love blue appetite because again, blue, I have a good bit of it. So you'll see it again, but love blue appetite. Oh, this is polychrome Jasper. So that mookite from earlier, also kind of like that. Ooh, that is a clear quartz DT or double terminated point, point on both ends. Clear quartz, great quality. This one is Amazonite and the flash on this one is ridiculous. It is so pretty. Um, I love it. I don't look at it enough. I love Amazonite. That is a little agate free form. Obviously carved, so not super free for me, with a little bit of a, like a Druzy cave. It's adorable. Again, the banding. I love it. More Caribbean calcite. Look at that. Almost like a bar of Irish spring. Adorable. It stands up on its own because she's thick. That's blue calcite. I love me a calcite. It's shiny and gorgeous and blue because that's my jam. This is fluorite. This is fluorite on Matrix. Matrix is anytime it's got the rock on it. That's like a purpley blue. This one is still bite um, with ooh, some other thing it grows on. The still bite was the peachy part. This is just quartz. My aunt actually gifted this to me. You can see the little striations where it grew. It's just a really pretty cluster of clear quartz. It has a little bit of like coloring from some inclusions. That's a giant chunk of pink calcite. She's large. I got her at Home Goods. You can get really decent quality crystals at Home Goods. This is Phantom Selenite with green hematite or tourmaline in it. This one is a sunstone. Look at that beauty. It's a peach, sunstone, moonstone. Gold flash, sunstone, white flash, moonstone. This one had both. That is a selenite little palm. This is blue kyanite. Ooh, I love kyanite. I think this looks like a Picasso painting. It's very rarely polished but that's a blue kyanite palm. Love it. I'm going to show it forever because it's gorgeous. Little agate sphere with a little bit of druzy. Looks like a weird little mouth. Again, the banding, the color variations. It, the earth is crazy. That is regular kyanite. That's black kyanite. So that blue one that I just showed you, that polished. This is blue tiger's eye or bull's eye, it's called. Um, it doesn't have very much flash. It's not a great one. This one is rainbow obsidian. So regular black obsidian, but, uh, when the lava cooled, it, uh, had a little rainbow in it. This is probably purple calcite or 
amethyst. That is raw amazonite. Gorgeous. And this is raw sodalite. Also gorgeous. This is blue. I love it. It's just a chunk of obsidian. Raw lava glass. That is green adventuring. And that is a flower agate heart. Love flower agate. It's very pretty. I also love hearts. It's just a little tangerine quartz. Not quite clear. Tangerine quartz. That is quartz with rutile, um, which is just little growths, like fern-like growths. That is a black moonstone, and it is gorgeous. So pretty. And a little bit of sunstone. That is a big old quartz cluster. It has a certain name, that kind of quartz. I forget what it's called. Um, but it's clear, and it's sparkly, and it's beautiful. That is a selenite slab that cleanses. That is blue celestite. I love it. You'll see more of it. That is just an amethyst heart, chevron amethyst heart. But they're all sitting on that slab. That's Laramar. Super expensive. Love Laramar, because blue. And that's a little tiny rainbow moonstone. Oh, there's the flash. So pretty. So pretty. And that is lapidolite, which is good for anxiety and calming. That's how I display them in my room, my grandmother's mirror. And then that's where I have some more, which by the end of this video, I have transformed into just raw on that shelf. And that's kind of how I display them in my bedroom. Ooh, palm stones. I have a lot. Buckle up. That is also peach moonstone. Look at that flash. And this one is a jasper. I believe it's Indonesian or Indian. That one is a river jasper. Stupid pretty. Also Indonesian. Gorgeous. That is lapid. Uh, no, sodalite. Why did I say lapidolite? That's sodalite. That is labradorite, which comes in all different kinds of color flashes. This was my first piece. Blue green. This is an Amazonite. Little palm. I told you. I love it. This is peach satin spar. Uh, that is a polished piece of celestite. Beautiful. Red jasper. Chef's kiss. It's my only piece, but I do love a red jasper. That is gab gabbro. It's usually made for countertops. That is more, uh, I believe, Indian jasper. And it's beautiful with some quartz. That is another Labradorite. I'm gonna try to get the flash. This one looks like it's a pinky purple. Yep, yep. Here's another one. Some yellow, green, orange. You get all the colors, friends. Just depends on which way you hold them. It's cool. It's not my favorite, but I have some pieces I like. That's more of that blue tiger guy. It's not the flashiest. That's just a piece of sea glass, but it's cool. That's orange calcite, and I always wanna eat it. That's lipidolite. Great for anxiety. That is malachite. I love malachite. Look at that banding. Look at the polish. She's beautiful. That is silver, silver sheen obsidian. <laughs> Obviously has a silver sheen. That is a gorgeous white moonstone. Are you kidding me? Look at that flash. The earth made that. She really went, look at me. Beautiful. This is tiger iron. So it is tiger's eye with iron banding. Gorgeous. That is garnet. Um, not a gem quality garnet, but that is a big chunk of garnet. And it's gorgeous. That is a disc of moss agate that you can see the light through. And it is stunning. Almost dropped it. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? This is thousand layer quartz or ghost quartz. Uh, it just has a ton of layers. It's also a garden quartz. It's another garden quartz. Again, because you see that formation inside the crystal, and it is ridiculously beautiful. That piece, mm, I love it so much. Oh, here we go, hearts. This one is an agate, just agate, blue agate, not a blue lace. This is quartz with tourmaline, like that giant tower that I showed you very first. It's just an, an agate, palm, mildly dendritic. That is a dendritic heart. Looks like little ferns in there. It's just sediment, mineral sediment. Another blue appetite. Not the one that you saw from before. That's actually a different one. Looks almost identical. Uh, still gorgeous. Look at that shine. 
That is a golden healer heart, um, is, which is a couple different minerals. But I love golden healer. I think it's gorgeous. That's a Labradorite. Look at that flash. Man, she's really shining. Beautimous. Oh, that is just a uh, quartz. Moroccan quartz, I believe. Heart. Cut in half. Oh, you can almost see through it. I'm trying to record this audio all in one go. That is an orca agate palm. Are you kidding? Look at the banding. This one is... I'm going to put it on the screen because I forget it. Amber will know. That is flower agate. Well, here we go to jewelry. This is my new ring. That is tourmalated quartz. Again, protection, grounding. Love it. That is Botswana agate. The banding. It is beautiful. I love it. That is a tourmalated quartz pendant. I wear that one. It's a rope pendant with a Moroccan rose quartz. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jules. That is tourmaline, a raw chunk of tourmaline. Great for protection. Wear that one. I have to see fam. Clear quartz. Obsidian. That is uh, kunzite. Very pretty kunzite. And that is a tiger's eye moon. Got that in a freebie. That is a moss agate bracelet and a moss agate bracelet. Or an agate and a moss agate. That is so delight. The one with the elephant tracks an elephant. Supports elephants. Sanctuaries. Alright, all the shapes. That's an egg. Says I called a dragon's egg. It's a septarian. Does UV react? Blows my mind how cool that is. That is an ametrine worry stone, part amethyst, part citrine. You can see the yellowish bit in the middle. That is a fluorite DT. So again, double tourmaline it, and the fluorite just has all the different colors. That's a blue appetite teardrop. This is a star with mica inclusions. Gorgeous. That is a moss agate goddess body. She is beauty. She is grace. She has the badonka donk. That is a little tiny citrine, natural Brazilian citrine point thing. That is a selenite uh, satin spar charging board. That is a Laramar star. She's gorgeous. That is a lapidolite hummingbird. The fact that I know all these, I'm very impressed with myself. That is a rhodonite. Whoa. Okay. That was, that was rhodonite. That is selenite. That is an agate with druzy. The little cave you can see through it. So pretty. God, that's pretty. That's stupid. That is a green onyx pyramid. She hangs out by my diviner series because she matches my special edition. That is a grape agate moon. Polished like that sphere with the little bubbles. Except it's polished and she's gorgeous. That is an agate moon with druzy and some dendrites. And it is gorgeous. That is a rhodonite star. Not the best quality, but decent. That's a moss agate star, and it is chunky and beautiful. And when the sun comes through it, it is chef's kiss. Love it. That is ruby and zoocyte. Um, also, all those red parts are ruby, which UV reacts. So she re UV reacts. That is an agate flower with snow druzy. When it's like really sugary like that. We would call it like snowy druzy. Druzy is just little pockets of gemmage. That is a Kumbaba Jasper on the left, and that is Unikite. That is blue calcite. It's actually a sphere stand, looks like a chess piece. That's brown calcite. Again, looks like a chess piece. It is a sphere stand. That is a desert rose. Selenite that grows in sand and turns into that. That is an ametrine DT. You can see a little bit of citrine in the middle there. Beautiful. So pretty. I'm pointing it out to you just in case you can't see it. That is a little dick. That is an opalite penis. That is a tiny little amethyst goddess body. She's small. 
again, bricked up in the back, but ooh, raw orange calcite. It's naturally waxy like that, and it's so cool. And a giant piece of blue calcite. Again, home goods, my friends. Mm, pretty inexpensive. And it's naturally waxy like that. Looks fake, isn't. That is raw tourmaline, and I love it. That stays on my desk, over my doors, for protection, over my front door, my bedroom door. That is aragonite. Usually that orangey color that's got some white on it though, grows in that cool little hexagonal pyramid, hexagonal pyramid, hexagonal shapes. That is raw blue appetite. She's lovely, sparkly. That is optical calcite. So if you put that on paper, it actually doubles the things that you're seeing. And there's a little bit of garden quartz in there. There's like a little bit of garden inclusions. That is a smoky quartz, raw, piece. That is black amethyst with a little bit of actual purple amethyst in it. It's very pretty, very dark, very sparkly. That is blue celestite, just celestite. Um, it's gorgeous. I love it because blue. Look how gemmy and juicy that is. Ooh, beautiful. That is heat treated citrine. It's amethyst that's heated and it turns that color. Uh, my aunt gave me that. It's beautiful and I love it. This is Vananite. Um, it is sparkly and orange, and it makes me want to sing the Muppets. Vananite. Dun, 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 dun. That is pyrite, or fool's gold, Moroccan quartz. Look at the sparkle. That is more Vivianite. More Vivianite. That is cloud amethyst. That is red quartz. That's my Vananite. That is. Herkimer diamonds on top of amethyst, more Herkimer diamonds on top of amethyst, more uh, voodoo amethyst, Vivianite, Moroccan quartz. This is still bite, and they call it like firecracker, firework crystal. These are the Herkimer diamonds, very cool. They UV react with uh, petroleum inside of them. That's more vanadinite. Do, 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 do. Banana night. Do, 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 do. Look at the sparkle. That's a rather large raw piece of banana night. This is aquamarine, but on barite, I believe. Or muscovite. Muscovite, maybe. This is a giant chunk of raw quartz with tourmaline, but like a lot of tourmaline. She hangs out downstairs. I like her. She was very inexpensive for the size of her. That tray, I think you've probably seen other places already because I've already gone through it. That was a giant piece of garden quartz. She was amazing. Um, again, you can see all those inclusions. Ah, look at it. Again, not my most expensive piece, but like dang close. Ah, that is a raw malachite. I had a little palm that was like lined. That is a raw piece of malachite, is toxic. Do watch yourself, um, but she's on my raw shelf now, up and away. Beautiful. Look at that. That is feather fluorite. It is stunning. Don't ask me how the earth makes it or what makes it do that, but that is feather fluorite. Big old slab up on a stand. That is a piece of amethyst with quartz banding around the side. She's beautiful. Ooh. Okay, buckle up. I got a lot. Uh, did you already see that? It's just tourmalated quartz. I'm not sure if you did or not. I have a lot of tourmalated quartz in case you hadn't realized. That is selenite or satin spar and very good for cleansing. She's cute. That is mookite. Again, only comes out of Australia. Very cool. That is ocean jasper. She's beautiful. Looks like the earth. This one is actually lapis lazuli, so all of the pyrite that's in there actually UV reacts. It's like a very orangey color. And this is a fluorite spear, greens and purples. She's pretty. She's not like my favorite, but she's cool. More blue appetite because I can't stay away from blue shiny things. Raw piece, polished piece, you get the drift. And this is larvacite. 
a shiny rock. She's beautiful. Uh, Larvacite. This is more garden quartz. So again, all of the layers and the inclusions and the minerals as the quartz grew. That is honey calcite and it is gorgeous. It's optical honey calcite and it is so juicy and beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, this is my most expensive piece. This is a giant citrine sphere. Um, the rainbows are absurd. The color is beautiful. She's very large uh, and stupid expensive. This is thousand layer quartz, smoky quartz. So this is a smoky garden quartz and it is gorgeous. My second most expensive piece. Um, Cause again, I like expensive things. That's a green flower agate. How cool is she? Beautiful. That is Ruby. That will UV react a bright red. That is a rutilated quartz. So you see the little hairs inside? That one you can see better. The other one was gold, this one's copper. That is more rutilated quartz. That is green tourmaline inside of quartz. It's beautimous. She tiny, but she real cute. That's smoky quartz. Just some everyday smoky quartz, nothing special. A little teardrop with gold rutile inside. I have like five of them. I'm gonna apparently show you each one of them. But yeah, sure am. That one has a little bit of garden. It's pretty cool. I have to make necklaces out of them or something. This is not brown calcite. They called it something else. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen. That is green mica. So shiny. Um, but yeah, see that beautiful green color? Oof. That is more of the lapidolite. Orange calcite, look at that banding. Oh, she's beautiful. Gorgeous orange calcite sphere. And that is a giant quartz sphere. It does have a little notch on the bottom so it sits, but like it is so heavy. It is so cool. Amber got that for me for my birthday. Ooh, downstairs, pyrite cube. Mm -hmm. That is mahogany obsidian and tree agate worry stone. More optical calcite that you can see through. This is actually a green citrine. They call it something else. Prenite, not prenite. I'll put it on the screen if I remember. That's malachite, a little malachite tumble. Uh, we've got some onyx, some natural citrine. Green adventuring. <laughs> Could not go any slower. This is a rutile half moon. And then some raw tourmaline there in the front, the black. That is another one of my Labradorite. That is another thousand layer garden quartz, ghost quartz. Beautiful layering, stunning. That is prairie night. That's pretty nice. It has like tourmaline in there and sometimes epidote. Beautiful. That is a, some, no, that's citrine. They sold that to me as citrine. That is more of the dendritic quartz. A little piece of smoky quartz. That is a little sodalite mushroom. I gave it to Amber because I'm not a mushroom gal. That's smoky quartz. Has a little piece of blue appetite. They're sparkly, but just a little tiny chip in a little moon selenite satin spar bowl. And then a little tiny shard of clear quartz. They came off my bigger pieces, so they went downstairs. That is a quartz and agate portal. She's large. I love her. She hangs out on my desk. She's beautiful. That's a jasmine. She's cute. She's very, very cute. Aww. She likes the 
crystals. She likes to jump up and sniff at stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that was gorgeous and I had to have it. This is just black kyanite that's treated with like fine chemicals, not chemicals, other minerals to make that color. That is a an African bloodstone kitty cat. That is just a jumble of carnelian, optical calcite, tiger's eye, red tiger's eye. Picking it up now. Red tiger's eye. There you go. Uh, yep. A little lapidolite sphere, a mookite star, a blue lace little tumble. I got a little bloodstone tumble there, some pyrite. You know. Ooh, the flames. A little fl fluorite flame. They're calling like things that they cut this shape a flame. That is carnelian with some quartz in it. A beautiful carnelian. Another agate with some dendrites around the side. See those little things look like dirt? That's dendrites. It's pretty cool. That is more ammonite. Look at the flash. I love some ammonite. That is white agate. I think they call it Mexican lace agate. I don't know. It's gorgeous. That, my friends, is a carnelian flame. Again, beautimous. Orca agate. My god. Look at that. Tell me it's not beautiful. You can't. You can't because it is. All right, friends, that was my collection of crystals. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how many I have. I could say I'd, I'd put a little number up here. I probably won't. Am I done? Like, is that all my crystals, right? Because what else could I need? No, I definitely have an order that's already on the way to me. It's slowing, but not done done. What's your favorite crystal? What was your favorite piece? What's your favorite material, mineral? My accounts are down below. If you have a favorite crystal of your own and you want to share it, you want to brag about it, send me a picture on Instagram because I want to see them. I'm going to list down below the main place that I buy my crystals from. It is a TikTok live shop. They don't have like a storefront. So it's just their Instagram and TikTok. And it's where the majority of my crystals have come from because I just trust them and their pricing and their quality. So if you're interested, you could check them out. Um, if you place an order with them, let them know in the comments when you send them your like address and information that I sent you. I don't get anything, but I want her to know that I'm supporting her. If you have any questions about anything that I covered, if you want to know more about something, um, let me know in a comment. But that's it. That's all for now. I will see you in the next video.